The Lower Niger River Basin Development Authority is one of the 12 river basin development authorities in Nigeria. The authority was re-established in 1994, having been severally merged and demerged since it was originally re-established by Decree No. 25 of June 1976 under the name Niger River Basin Development Authority with headquarters in Ilorin. Paris State. In 1984, the authority was split into two, namely the Upper Niger River Basin Development Authority and the Lower Niger River Basin Development Authority, with headquarters in Mina, Niger State, and Ilorin, Paris State, respectively. In 1987, the two establishments were merged again into one authority, with headquarters in Mina, Niger State. However, in 1994, the authority was split again and Lower Niger River Basin Development Authority was re-established with its headquarters in Ilorin, Quarry State. The area of operations of the authority now covered the entire geographical boundary of Quarry State and parts of Kogi State, west of the River Niger. The authority an agency of the federal government of Nigeria under the supervision of the Federal Ministry of Water Resources as a board of directors comprising a chairman, five other members and the managing director of the authority. The operations of the authority are carried out through five area offices that oversee the activities of the project offices under their jurisdiction. The area offices are Ilorin, Omoaran, and Shonga in Kwara State, as well as Ejiba and Lukuja in Kogi State. The managing director, Dr. Adini Sahid Arimu, during an interview with the Press and Public Relations Unit of Federal Minister of Water Resources, spoke extensively on the mandates of his agency. Our mandate is basically the development of water, ground, and um, uh, surface water. So, and the roadmap um, as initiated by the other Minister of Water Resources in the National Monitor 2016 to 2030. We have been able to work closely uh, uh, using those guiding principles uh, actually to actually function in terms of water supply, water for all, uh, uh, the SDG 6 also, uh, also and other. Um, uh, Government uh, policies on water resources. So, with that, we've been able to, um, uh, between 2017 and to date, we've been able to deal with a lot of uh, more rules. We're able to provide water, especially raw water. we were able to complete some dams, seven dams, we've completed seven. Four are still um, on, ongoing. We are able to rehabilitate some of our uh, equipment and um, some dams too owned by the state. After the application, we had them over to the state for operation and uh, uh, further maintenance. Uh, for other maintenance. Uh, also, we've been able to open more lands, um, 1,806 um, hectares of irrigable open lands every year. We open, every year. Our target is to uh, open up 100 hectares uh, within our area office. We have five area offices within the authority and several project um, offices uh, under the area uh, offices. With the establishment of the Water Resources Roadmap by the Honorable Minister of Water Resources, Engineer Sleiman Hosseini Adamu, the River Basin Development Authorities are expected to dedicatedly ensure that their programs are replicated to their areas of coverage thereby contributing to Mr. President's agenda of lifting Nigerians out of poverty. The Managing Director, Lower Niger River Basin Development Authority, Dr. Adeni Sahid Aremo, speaks further on the milestone of his agency in this regard. Those communities that don't even have water, so many communities like that that don't have water, we need to provide water as well to them. And then what we are now doing now is to the mini water treatment um, uh, scheme is that less chemicals to actually treat those water for some communities, maybe over 100. So we, all, um, we are 
trying to incorporate the mini water scheme that, that so that we articulate to like three kilometers to them. So people have been able to have uh, uh, access to water, uh, improve access, yeah, access to improved um, sources of drinking water and other water for several years. Also in some communities where they do only red fed agriculture, we were able to uh, like Okuta now. We have a dam now, a new dam now. Now people have now been able, the farmers too, are now coming together to now do um, uh, instead of repair the irrigated agriculture. And after, after provision of the dam, it's not that we just leave them alone like that. We also clear during lands for yeah, for the farmers. After create area, then it's the locals too who will now call to come and take um, um, his uh, uh, land and charge is a token for them. Then we provide also, we do provide irrigation facility so that they can all year round, they can, um, year round they can have, um, um, produ they can have uh, production. The roving camera also presents testimonies from some of the beneficiaries of the projects and programs of Lower Niger River Basin Development Authority. We want to thank the managing director uh, Lower Niger River Basin Authority, the supervising engineer too. He has always been operating, coming here all the time. And whenever we had any complaint, we were free to go to his office and lodge our complaint and uh, immediately we come to our assistance. Thank you very much. When we come out of the house, we fetch water to drink, bathe, and wash our clothes as we like. We have abundant water now. No more trouble getting water. Going distances to fetch water for domestic use is now a thing of the past. We are grateful to Lower Niger River Basin Development Authority. It is pertinent to note that the Lower Niger River Basin Development Authority equally provides various expert engineering services to support human development within its areas of coverage, such as rural development through construction of drainage and of flood control structures and portable water supply by means of boho drilling. Comprehensive water resources and watershed development through construction of dams and wells. Irrigated agricultural development by leasing of agricultural land for rain feed and dry season farming. Engineering consulting services in feasibility studies, engineering designs and geophysical survey, hydro, geological and hydro meteorological services. Land or soil surveys, social economic surveys, laboratory soil test and water analysis, design, construction of fish farms and landscape plants and pump higher. Lower Niger River Basin Development Authority has made some other remarkable achievements under the able leadership of Dr. Adeni Sahid Arimu, Managing Director, Lower Niger River Basin Development Authority, such as 1. Dams. Dams of the authority can be classified as follows. Large dams. Kampe Omi Dam Tadashuga. Small dams, Omu Aran, Egbeda, Egadam, OK, Oyiwe, Araromi, Eyakunri, Fdam, Abatiwe, Isapawe, and Yashikiraiwe. Authorities dam under construction are Oduapi Dam, Takete Ide Dam, Bada Dam, Moshigada Dam, Okuta Dam and Iyagbedi Dam. 2. Irrigation The irrigation projects of the authority are at various locations within the authority's areas of operation, covering the entire Kwara and some parts of Kogi State. The irrigation projects are categorized according to their sizes. Large Irrigation Projects Kampeomi Irrigation Project The site is constructed on Oyi River at Omi in Yagba West Local Government Area of Kogi State. The project is under the supervision of Ejiba Area Office of Lower Niger River Basin Development Authority. 
The project was targeted at providing all year round and supplementary irrigation facility at the face of too short rainfall in the area. The available land under the scheme is 7,020 hectares, while 4,100 hectares is commendable. Tada Shonga Irrigation Project The site is located by the bank of the Niger River in the stretch of land between Tada and Chiji village in a local government area of Kari State. The aim is to support 3,200 hectares, which is to be irrigated by direct water abstraction from the Niger River for cultivation of rice, sugarcane, maize and vegetable using 10 km of main drainage canal and construction of a drainage pump station with 200 km of irrigation canals and construction of several check and control structures. Medium Irrigation Projects Girinya Irrigation Project, Bada Irrigation Project, Rogun Irrigation Project, Pategi Irrigation Project, Duku Lede Irrigation Project, Oloru Irrigation Project, Durogakban Irrigation Project, Pategi Badu Tutugi Irrigation Project, Eyenkuri Irrigation Project, Ahun Irrigation Project, Takete Ide Irrigation Project. Small Irrigation Projects Okyongi Irrigation Project Okuta Irrigation Project Erin Ile Irrigation Project Yashikira Irrigation Project Molete Irrigation Project Omuaran Irrigation Project Moshegada Irrigation Project Ponya Irrigation Scheme Emiwuro Irrigation Scheme Ohun Irrigation Scheme and Abati Irrigation Scheme we have one large irrigation project, that is the Kakuyomi, with capacity of 240 million uh, um, uh, uh, meter cube uh, of reservoir. But with the Kakuyomi, now uh, we have uh, 220 ponds there, and uh, those ponds are owned by over 40 farmers. The idea is to uh, give them an avenue uh, for them to uh, actually uh, uh, Establish their own business. And we have also uh, several uh, commercial farmers and uh, um, uh, several commercial farmers who are who have keyed into our uh, this scheme. Uh, for now, we have over 800, uh, 800 tons of fish per year we are produced from that, and, uh, which um, in monetary terms is over 780. Um, million there annually. That's a faithful of them. And you have people coming from different parts of the country to come and purchase from our country or the education. Water projects. The projects involve geophysical survey, drilling of productive boreholes, and developments of the boreholes to provide potable water for different communities, especially rural communities in the five senatorial districts covered by the authority. The boreholes consist of various types, sizes and capacity, such as hand pump borehole, mini motorized borehole, solar powered borehole, solar powered industrial borehole, and electrically driven motorized borehole. The water supply activities also include surface water supply works, which is an extension of water distribution network to communities with provision and installation of rising main pipes and gallon service tanks. In the recent years, the authority has intervened in the rehabilitation of the following waterworks. Shubi Waterworks, which is located in Shubi Barracks, is to provide 2 million gallons per day of potable water for 75,000 people per day in Shobi, Shau, Akiribiata, Okelele, and Amule communities. Agba Dam Waterworks Agba Dam Waterworks is located within Ilori Metropolis. The waterworks is to provide 4 million gallons per day of portable water for 150,000 people living in 
Gaya Akambi, Niger Road, Offa Garage, Basin Road, and Tanke Milite Waterworks. Milite Waterworks is located in Milite and its transmission pipeline, Rising Main, comprises 200 mm and 150 mm diameter UPVC 16 bar pressure over a total length of 6.5 km to convey clear water tank from the treatment plant to an elevated water tank of 250,000 liters located at the Kwara State University campus. Flood and Erosion Works Flood and Erosion Works is another area where the authority has achieved tremendous success. It has been a yearly ritual for the authority to construct and rehabilitate drainages and canals to checkmate flood and erosion across the communities. The authority has embarked on numerous studies and engineering design for effective control of flood and erosion in some areas under its operations and also conduct more feasibility studies with a view to identifying other flood and erosion prone locations in its area of operations. Agricultural programs. The authority has played a major role in supporting agricultural development within its area of operation by serving as catalyst for sustainable agricultural and social economic development of the area. It has also helped to provide an organized irrigation agronomy through its technical operation and extension services, thereby improving the quality and efficiency of the utilization of land and water resources, development efforts of the federal government, which has strengthened the federal government's economic integration and self-sufficiency in food production. Other agricultural programs of the authority poultry, broiler beds production and sales, egg production and sales, laying beds, fishery, fish farming at Ejiba area office, dry season irrigation program to supplement food production and sustain food security, ecological parks and garden, production of horticultural crops and ornamental plants and fruits, greenhouse, production of fruits and spices, Youth Empowerment and Agricultural Training Programs Some other beneficiaries also testify the usefulness of the programs which are targeted to contribute to Mr. President's agenda of lifting Nigerians out of poverty. I'm one of the beneficiaries of the Graduate Youth Empowerment Program organized last year in Lower Niger River Basin. Uh, we are uh, imparted a lot of knowledge to this uh, Lower Niger River Basin Agricultural Section of the organization, and we imparted the crop production, the poultry, and the fishery production. Particularly myself, I'm interested in the poultry section. As you can see, at the end of the program, we are giving the start pack. This is my penthouse. You can see, I, I read it from October 6, 2021, that we are giving the pack up to December through so January this year. I only have two left among the start pack we are given. It was sold during the Christmas and the New Year. So I will encourage the federal government to do more of this through Lower Niger River Basin so that the youth will not depend on white collar job. I don't have any knowledge about agriculture before. So fortunately, when we were called to for the training, that was 2020, we were introduced into poultry, fishery, horticulture. And after the training, which lasted for 12 months, we were given palliatives, which includes day old chicken feeds and medication. And from there, I took my birds to a brooding room, brewed them, and I see it was really good. These birds here are just five days, which I took after the last one I did. And this is their brooding room. After this brooding stage now, I'll move them to a larger pen. Lower Niger River Basin has really helped with the graduates that were unemployed then by training us in this field. Some other achievements include poultry services. 
the authority operates a viable commercial poultry venture through breeding of numerous broilers and layer stock. We are expanding. We have broilers, we have increased our, our if you see our, our poultry, we have expanded them so as to meet with the demands. All what we are we are getting from the from the farm, we are putting it, plugging it back. That's why we have not been able to emit from now. But once we will have achieved that uh, optimum level, then we now be able to pay for the But now it's self-sustaining because we don't give them any amount. And most of our staff, we have only seven staff, they are seven, seven, six, seven. All of that is source them outside and they are the one paying them. Table water service. The authority operates table water production as part of its commercial services that include sachet and bottle packaging. The authority, in addition to the table water production services, is also into pet bottle blowing services, borehole drilling services. The authority also operates borehole drilling units, which has a core of professionals in the area of geophysical and drilling services. The authority had in the past made considerable efforts in the area of development of agriculture, livestock and fishery activities, which are the focus of the federal government. However, the current focus of the authority under the new dispensation, as stipulated by the Bureau for Public Enterprises BPA, is now basically directed to the identification and utilization of water resources potentials within its area of operations through the development of irrigation and water conservation projects, hydrology and hydrogeological projects, flood and erosion control, and hydromet data gathering activities. We have also been able to um, upgrade our facilities like within the river basins, which is the trust of the Honorable Minister Engineer Suleiman Adam. That is to actually revitalize the uh, RBD, uh, that our facilities are uh, of recent. We procured two um, high tech um, facilities that is, drone. Uh, a drone, we, uh, we bought a drone under one of our um, uh, projects such that we use those drones to map up our, our areas of, of operation. We do land mapping um, to monitor our fields. And, and, and also, we use them to uh, monitor our livestock and our crops too. We also uh, purchased this uh, the, uh, unmanned surface vessel, Apache 5. And that Apache 5 has the, uh, the capability of uh, configuring um, underground of water, that is, uh, underground surface water, that is um, for us to do hydrographic uh, survey. Be able to uh, do a, a graphic survey from her, and that will assist in um, uh, quantifying situation of our river bodies, also to monitor our channels and the, and the rest. So, we'll be using that also to train students and then to, uh, uh, to improve our activities. By extension, and as horizontal to these main functions are poultry, fish farming, and other fishing activities in the impounded reservoirs and fish ponds. The authorities' dams, wells, irrigation facilities have turned areas served by the authority into a reliable all-year-round farming communities. Several irrigations, flood and fishery projects have been executed and managed by the authority and several more planned.